Leaked videos and images. Dream sitting and moaning for a 16 to 17 year old fan. This man belongs in something much worse than hell. He's afraid. Is any of this real? I don't know if any of this is real. The anti dream hysteria is so pronounced right now that it's actually impossible to know whether or not anything is made up. I was going to talk about the other thing with the gumball guy, but now there's this thing. Should I know who Dream is? He's like a really popular Minecraft YouTuber who then kind of pivoted into being this weird, like, multimedia wannabe boy heartthrob creepo. Isn't he a groomer? I don't even know what's real about him, man. This is the problem with, like, internet hate mobs, which this definitely is. I, I don't actually know what's real because people just say any old shit. Uh, I, I, I can't even see the gumball thing anymore. Love drama. What was the first thing he told you? So, okay, I just, we need to run a few a through, we need to run through a few things. So, okay, Dream was hanging out with the voice actor for Gumball, from Gumball, the voice actor, you know. And uh, I, I guess the VA for Gumball called him a pedophile on the TL. So Dream, in response, leaked an old video of the Gumball VA when he was 20 being drunk and a freak or something. He said, he said, he said listen, he's he said, if you get out, I'm know. a what? I God, that. I was trying to tell so you listen, that man. before so you yeah. even started talking. Contains homophobia, ableism, anti-Semitism, threats of violence, narcissism. Narcissism is a, 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 a common trigger warning. You can tell me out before I tell you. Listen God. to somebody Listen. who has experience in life. If I'm putting you on game, right? You're still 20? Okay. Yeah. See, you still. No, go. No, go. No, 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 I'm not so, going. So, you're asking I'm why. Not, I'm, I'm not going I'm not going because you're manipulating me. The same thing you say you not want to do or you went through, you're doing the exact same shit. Yeah, should I add a narcissism warning to my stream as well? Oh, you're right. There's so much shit here, man. So, like. Also, this guy slap box stream in front of the hose, apparently. That, that's also a thing that happened. Do I even... Oh, my God. Yeah, the VA, the VA for Gumball called Dream a pedophile. And then Dream was like, oh, yeah, remember that time you, like, punched me in the face and was an asshole to the Uber driver and said the F-slur? So then he posted the video, and there's a bunch of other shit. And I don't even know why I was looking at this to begin with. And you're using all these bullshit excuses of why you're still f***ed up. So you're, you're, you're the type of person, you're going to have to bump your head for you to learn. So when somebody who is older than you... I want to tell you right now, you're Australopithecus Cro-Magnon rock f***ing stupid. You're retarded, you're f***ing down syndrome, I don't give a f You do not understand that your literacy level... I'm always saying this to people. ...needs to be brought up from the f***ing Mariana Trench, and you have a f***ing issue with oh, your no, intelligence. No, Bites come and the ants come at me. It'll take ten thousand, a hundred thousand of them to take me down. So that's how minuscule you are to my size, right? My stature of intelligence, character, body, and um, reverence in the world. One K is better for this dude. Who doesn't want to give away his millions? Are you Jewish? No, man. Because I'm gonna do movies, stand up comedy. I'm always asking people that. Everything, all the shit, music, whatever. The you don't understand that you're talking to like that. That's a that's a very powerful kind of guy right now. A guy who will drunkenly hit on people at the bar and randomly ask, hey, are you Jewish? And then no matter what the answer is, he just continues because he doesn't actually care. He just wanted to ask. Like genuine curiosity, nothing meant by it, but never clarifies. That's a very powerful individual right there. People, people fear this man. Michelangelo of my time, right? Like I'm a genius, Albert Einstein level history bookmaker. You're going to be forgotten like the dust in the sand when you're in the fucking Sahara and there's hundred million, thousand billion sand particles are going to be one of those and i'm going to be a statue erected in gold so understand i, that. I, I am like this because uh, adhd autism neurodivergent I I have ADHD as well. i'm also like this all the time oh. right but because you said if gumball guy was 19 when this was filmed then why the fuck was 23 year old dream hanging out with him drinking with him then holding on to blackmail of him for over a year okay my my general position on all of this is that the problem is is that most of the people who are invested in this drama are like 14 years old uh, if, if the Gumball VA was 20 and he got drunk with Dream, I don't, I don't give a f I'm sorry. Every other f country in the world has, like, a drinking age of 18 or what. I don't give a sh Like, oh, he drank, he drank with a 20-year-old? I don't care. Like, people, there are some people who are like, th that's morally devastating or whatever. That's, it's stupid. I don't f care. It's not like when I was 20, I wasn't, like, you know, going to parties and drinking or whatever. Like, I'm gonna fucking, you, you were with, like, when I was 20, I was already a hulking 230-pound, 6'2 guy with a beard. You know, I was in, 
university like, oh, dude, you, you can't, he can't have beer. You know, if I, I don't care. I stopped getting carded when I was like 17, all right? It's been, it's been a while. Oh, yeah, anyway. So apparently Dream is a deeply unlikable and unpleasant person in person, if that's at all surprising to you or anyone else. Holy shit, 126 million views? What the f So anyway, they, they did that or whatever, and um, the Gumball VA was acting like a huge to the Uber driver and to Dream on the way back, and he was, like, drunk or whatever. And Dream only released this because the Gumball VA called him a uh, 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 pedophile and made fun of him for getting punched in the face or something. I don't know. Said, that's what the mask is! I think you're a f***ing it, alright? So that's why. Uh... You're really cool, Dream. I still want to fight you. And all of the shit that's happened tonight, it's not going to make it a f***ing, like, brutal marauder. It's, I'm not going to be a brutal marauder. I'm going to, like, literally, like, either you're going to be paralyzed or you're going to be dead. Like, I'm serious. He, stroll, okay. he stole your bit? Yeah, what the f***? Can you're you gonna... fight? Oh, of course, yeah. Tyrell? I yeah. apologize. Oh my God, I, I, I know, and I'm sorry him, for I met him tonight. Well. But yeah, you can end the video now. Thanks for watching. Um, Cantu Network on all socials. Tune your sets. Nice meme. Yeah, I slapbox you in front of the hose. Yes, I was an asshole to that Uber driver. Yes, I called you fat and a predator. He's spot on about basically everything except the racial shit and me saying the N-word. Don't do that shit. Won't say that shit ever. I were a Harvard professor to calculate why despite texting every Twitch streamer in Austin, not a single one wanted to fuck you. That's impressive. I've noticed that Vosh insists saying the arsler is an ableist, but is completely fine and doesn't question what it's used alongside Down syndrome as an insult. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? I, I, don't, I don't call people Down syndrome. He did. It's not my fault. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. There's, there's, it's one of those things where it's like you can't even reasonably compile any of the information on the drama because it's just like people screaming on the timeline. I don't understand what the deal is with Dream. I feel, I feel like Dream is like one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest cases of like the, uh, the he, like it's such a concentrated force of like internet stardom rising and then very rapidly falling where, you know, there was only so much controversy to all the, the Minecraft stuff and Dream got insanely popular so, so, so quickly. But there was pressure for him to show his face because he didn't show face cam in any of his videos, but he was fat, like really fat. So he spent like three years working out to get really skinny, and then he revealed his face, but he did it in like a cringy way, so everyone made fun of him for it. Like, massive, like, they just absolutely roasted the fuck out of him for it. And then I guess he's, he just has like a complex now, and he's trying to overcompensate by being really sort of performatively cringy. I don't know. I think it's easy to hate. People needed a reason this looks like it. Well, he is also like kind of a groomer, right? I, like, there there has been some sussy stuff. I, I don't know how much of it, but there's been so much of it. It honestly feels like every other YouTuber that was popular in 2011 is now exposed as a criminal of some sort. I keep telling you guys, I keep telling you guys, it is the same pattern every single time. This happened massively in the Smash community, but it's going to happen everywhere. It's already happened everywhere. The reason this keeps happening is because you have loser nobodies who have no social skills getting very popular off of some niche internet thing like playing Minecraft or Smash Bros or whatever else. And all of a sudden, they're very, very popular because a lot of people love their content and they don't know how to deal with that popularity. And they feel this like weird, like hollowness and bitterness because they spent all their life up until that point, getting basically no attention from women. But now, when you're popular, you can basically get like any kind of attention you want. You know, if you're interested in getting attention, if you're popular, you can get it. So they have no idea how to respond to it. And they're desperately insecure because they have no like background in being flirtatious or social. So they do like the groomer equivalent of when trans girls who transition at 20, like relive their teens in, in terms of like style and form. Which is they're just like, oh, well, I was never popular in high school, but that doesn't mean I can't be popular with the high school girls. They do this every single f time, you know? They did this at Sky Williams' groomer Epstein Smash Bros. house. You know, Dream does it. A ton of YouTubers have done it. It happens over and over and over again. No, it's not really like a power corrupts thing. It's just like a lot of these guys aren't great to begin with. I'm not saying they're like innocent victims of circumstance or whatever. It's like a lot of them were, were pretty f to begin with. It's just like consistently, man. You see this with conservatives, priests, gamers, YouTubers, it's really prevalent in society. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I, I think it's, it's like, uh, it's, it's a consequence of like asymmetrical social development, I feel. How come you're not a groomer? Because I was socially successful before having a YouTube channel. Even as like a fat, uh, 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 neckbeard man bun. It turns out all girls need 
is uh, uh, direct eye contact, the knowledge that you have uh, 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 strong grip strength, and um, you, you have to like autistically shout uh, about what kinds of Lego builds you like at them. And that's usually enough. That's all it takes. Very simple. Do you think being a content creator necessitates a level of narcissism? No, I, I don't think so. I, I think that you need to be um, confident or you're going to crash and burn, but confidence, like, confidence is a good thing. I, I think that being a content creator necessitates maybe like a, a degree of self-absorption. You have to have a pretty high opinion of the value of what it is you're bringing to the table because otherwise, like, why even would you? Uh, and again, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it can be like, an asymmetrical social development. It's also, by the way, very much a guy problem. And I think there are two parts to this. One part of it is um, that guys just tend to be lonelier. Like guys who are into video games or nerdy interests tend to be lonelier when they uh, get into them. So then if that leads to them getting some big career where they can leverage it into being social, they're more likely to have been a big schism between their previous level of sociability and their current level of sociability. That's one. And for two, I just think guys place like a really fucking high premium on the concept of being some kind of like rock star playboy who gets mad pussy when they're popular, you know, like there's there's like this big obsession if you're a YouTuber or a live streamer or whatever else, that if you're a guy, it's not just that you're popular. You also have to be like, you know, you have to seek affirmation from others uh, by by or, or, or even like their imagined perceptions of you by thinking of yourself as the kind of person who either is or could be getting a mad amount of puss. And usually the, the problem is no matter how popular you are, getting a mad amount of puss is actually pretty difficult, like doing it right. You know what I mean? Like it's very easy to just like respond to every email. Like if I wanted to get mad pussy or whatever with no concerns whatsoever for how it was done, like, oh, just respond to the flirty DMs that Tempest has to filter through on Instagram. Wow, congrats. You can like line people up like that. Great. Um, because like if you're popular, then that just happens. That happens to everyone popular, you know? That's just how it is, you know, uh, but if you want to like do things properly or whatever, you actually have to like develop some kind of rapport or relationships or have the genuine confidence to know what you want and seek what you want from others. Because what a lot, I, I've seen this from so many exposés, what happens in a lot of cases is you have people who are very popular, but because they aren't secure in their popularity, they try to, um, they, they, they get insecure about their likability when talking to people who they know already like them. Like, they're like, oh, well, my likability is tenuous and it relies entirely upon my career and my popularity, which is ephemeral. It's not directly a product of my charisma. So because of that, I have to be like weirdly cloying and desperate in spite of the fact that I'm the celebrity here. Haven't you guys seen that from a lot of exposés or whatever? You've seen that. We saw this from uh, uh, Justin Roiland, I think, the, the Rick and Morty guy. We saw this from like a bunch of YouTubers who've had DMs leaked or whatever, where you have the, you, the, 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 the dynamic is like, even though they're the powerful, wealthy, popular one, they're doing this weird like, Oh, haha, ha, you like me, don't you? Thing, which is like, what do you do? Like, they're the fan of you. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Well, I think the reason they do that is because in their mind, they know that their appeal is based on like an ephemeral external thing, their popularity, rather than their direct charisma or presentability. So they get like kind of weird about it. And as a consequence of them getting weird about it and a consequence of them not having like a good, like grounded understanding of what it is they want and what they offer other people, they end up making really bad decisions with who they talk to, which in a lot of cases just leads to weird groomer shit. Again, not trying to absolve them of responsibility. I'm not, they are responsible. Just, I think there are reasons why this kind of irresponsibility tends to manifest over and over. How old were you when you got your first bro uh, boyfriend or girlfriend? 15. Self-esteem issues? Yes. I'm a friend of a moderately popular person, so what you're saying makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the reason this keeps happening. And Dream is like the biggest case of it, right? Because he was massively popular. He got flamed like hell for his face reveal. However, uh, you know, it doesn't take much effort to go on social media and see underneath all the people who are making fun of Dream for how he looks or how he acts. There are like 14 year old girls who act like he's the finest man in the universe. And 14 year old girls, they can have whatever stupid preferences they like, you know, okay. It's not on them, but if he engages with that, and if that's the only source of like genuine affirmation he's getting, like at his live shows or whatever, then, you know, this was proven by metal. A lot of 80s bands, when the genre boomed, had a lot of these issues and it was pushed back underground after grunge became most non-existent. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know that much about, about music, but yeah, I, I fully believe it. Vosh, I have it. Oh no. Oh yeah. 
All right. No auto tune versus auto tune. This one's rough, man. <sighs> spotlight. I want to put you in the spotlight. Turn off the cameras now, you're all mine. I know. I know. Make you a superstar in my mind. My mind. Cause it's your show. I know. I know. This appearance is kind of like groomer maxing, you know? It's kind of crazy how, how hard he leaned into it. He's feeling out his ability to get away with shit. I do, I, I think, again, it's, it's kind of like a vicious cycle because you can kind of tell... Okay, like, let me, let me give you an example, okay? I, th I think this is actually a really, really, really good example, okay? So, I, in contrast to Dream, let's talk about a YouTuber who's very beloved and actually is a heartthrob. Markiplier, okay? Now, Markiplier is very popular with a lot of people, mostly young people, I feel, but I do think he has a broader audience range in terms of age than Dream does. At least I'd like to believe that because I occasionally watch Markiplier. Uh, Markiplier also, here, can we just, for the like two people in the audience who haven't seen Markiplier, let me just, hold on. There we go. That's a nice like palate cleanser after Dream. Oh, there's Dream again. Oh, there we go. Um, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's very attractive. Um, now, I think, I think that the distinction is, is, is interesting because um, Markiplier does have a large audience of, of youth. However, Markiplier has always conducted himself very responsibly on social media. He doesn't, he can't like make people not be parasocial because it's not possible when you're as large as Markiplier is or as large as Dream is for that matter. But he usually engages pretty level-headedly and he thirst posts but he thirst posts in a way that doesn't um, bait the affection of children specifically. How do, how do I describe this? Markiplier is very hot and he knows it and he does like, you know, uh, occasionally post shirtless pics or just like look good on the TL, but he doesn't do it in a way that seems like it's maximally calculated to groom the brain of a 14-year-old girl. You know, uh, screenshot unrelated, I guess. Does that make any does that make any sense? People don't shy away from acknowledging that he's hot, least of all him, but he does it in a way that doesn't give me the feeling that he's trying to like make himself a heartthrob to young girls. I don't know. I, I guess I guess I'm thinking about it. Like the difference is meaningful and real, but I, I'm finding it very difficult to describe. I I I guess like does everyone agree? Like when I, when I say like when I'm, when I make this point, does it like make sense for those who kind of know what I'm talking about? When I see Markiplier thirst post, I've never gotten the feeling that he's trying to like, you know, groom an audience or whatever, ever. I've just never gotten that feeling or vibe. I am biased towards him because I like him and I think he's hot, but I, I still don't think he's, he's really done that. It probably helps that he's hot in like a very, not in a general way. That sounds like an insult in like a very universal way, whereas Dream is specifically, again, doing this like, like, Jesus Christ, look at this. It, it, like, this is not, like, adults would never, like, this is like, laughable. If you're an adult, like, this is a joke, as, I mean, hopefully everyone understands. That's why everyone makes fun of it. But it's, yeah, and the kissy, the, I don't know. I don't know. Bleeding and hemorrhaging viewers every time Dream's face is shown. Yeah, I have to show like Markiplier's uh, OnlyFans pics uh, to to like to to compensate to bring it back. You know, please, I beg you, do it. I'm not doing that. Dream Defo has a bunch of DMs with minors. Well, I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. If I understand you right, it's not what they're doing; it's who they're marketing it to. If you are a popular content creator who has a lot of children who like their content, I don't think it is innately bad or morally wrong for you to present yourself in a way that emphasizes your attractiveness. If that was the case, I think that would be a really arbitrary and unfair standard that nobody could really keep track of. First of all, on YouTube, basically everybody is going to have a large, uh, con you know, sort of contingent of, of young fans, unless your content is like really specifically catered towards adults, you know? And at the same time, like what constitutes as looking attractive, that gets really dumb really quickly. Obviously, you can go over the top. Like, if you're a content creator who has a large audience of children and then you're doing like Twitch bathtub streams, which I've talked about before and I think are extremely irresponsible and f***ed up. Like if you're a chick and you know for a fact you've got a ton of like 
young boys in your audience and you're doing like, here's my boyfriend for a day posting with like the Twitch bastard. Like, yeah, I think that's really bad. You know, obviously there's like ways of going overboard with it. But I think it's I think it's really a matter of whether or not you are presenting yourself as just as you are or if you're deliberately trying to cater to and be a kind of heartthrob. But even then, it's not necessarily groomer-esque to be a heartthrob, right? Like, I don't think um, like a K-pop idol who presents themselves as a heartthrob is necessarily a groomer just because they know their audience has a lot of young people and they are presenting themselves as desirable because this has been around for all of human history, right? Like, at that point, you're going to start arguing, well, it's actually irresponsible to have, like, Cartoon Network cartoons where there are drawn women that are attractive or whatever. And, like, and that gets, like, weird quickly, too. I just, I feel like the argument here is so strong because D Dream resonates this overwhelming energy of creepy groomer bullshit that feels like it's almost instinctually identifiable. But when you get down to, like, the layers of what exactly he's doing that are different, I think it gets a little bit more complicated, a little bit more ambiguous. But the vibes, you know? But I don't I don't think it's good to make a determination just based off vibes. I do think it's okay to make a determination based on the fact that he apparently is like DM'd minors or whatever. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah. I do think that the aesthetics are a big part of it, for sure, for sure. I think a big, uh, a big difference is someone like Mark is doing it because he's just feeling himself and Dream is clearly trying to seduce someone. Oh, I think that's a good one. I think that's a good distinction, yeah. When Markiplier Thirst posts, it feels like he's just confidently presenting the fact that he's hot, which is, you're right, you know. Whereas Dream specifically is acting seductive. Like, there's a difference there. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's a good point, yeah. It feels like a minor difference, but I think, well, to Dream, it is a minor difference. It feels like an insignificant difference, but I think it's actually pretty pretty meaningful. Is it a question of interpersonality? I mean, to an extent, right? I don't know. I, I mean, apparently he's also doing like the, the the grooming DMs thing. Right now, trending, Dream did what, all caps. I mean, like what, what now, you know? For anyone wondering why Dream did what is actually trending, Dream recorded a deliberately sexual audio clip and sent it to a minor on Snapchat. Blow this up so people don't have to dig through shit posts to find out what he did this time. I, I hate taking internet mobs at their word because they lie so often, but Vosh, this isn't far from if you're ugly, you're a creep. If you're hot, based, go off king. No, 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 no. I, I disagree. I fully disagree. I, there, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with Dream's like actual physical appearance. If he acted normally, I do not think that. I don't think it would be an issue. It does sound like this. Okay. Hmm. Even when he did his face reveal. Wait, I thought he deleted this. Didn't he delete the face reveal video? 60 million views, by the way. Good lord. Shows up at the Dream Team house, he'll meet Patches. My goal was to just start doing things, get out, meet creators, say hi to my friends finally. Um, just get out and see me. Can I? Okay, I've never pointed on camera. Uh, okay. There's nothing about his appearance that's like unattractive at all. Like, genuinely. Okay, I know we have a lot of negative associations from Dream, but like, in and of itself, they're like, seriously, he looks fine. Really, he does. The main thing that weirds me out about this video is the fact that he always very deliberately keeps his eyes and his uh, face angled at just the right way because he's very insecure about his appearance. Being insecure is not in and of itself like morally wrong. So I don't think that like the vibe is off, but it's mostly because he keeps trying to maintain like a very specific uh, presentation because he doesn't want to like turn slightly. You know, seriously, you can look at the thumbnail here like he's incredibly consistent in how he holds his face. Probably recorded it a few times, you know. I mean, I guess I also keep my face at an angle for the most part, but yeah, that's just that's just a Vosh stream classic, you know. His reasoning for doing it made no sense too. It was to not get doxxed. Is that what he said? Is did he say that? Okay, I don't I don't know. I feel like using vibes as a metric for creepiness is inevitably going to leave this to be an issue of attractiveness rather than creep factor. Again, I'm just making the point here. There's nothing actually wrong with his face. He it, oh, well, that's a funny frame there but you know okay that's also a funny frame if you pause when a person is talking they're always going to look funny that's just classic you can do that with tv as much as you want um there's nothing there's nothing okay again like it's there sure uh there's nothing like wrong with his face okay there's, what's wrong with your face there's nothing wrong with his face okay it's not a matter of attractiveness it's a matter of like what the f like his face did not make him do this his face did not autonomously guide itself to this. A lot of people are going to have a bad reaction to this because of rejection issues. 
Yeah, I guess so. I just think, yeah, it's it's not, this is one of the things that bothered me after he did his face reveal. People were arguing that he was ugly, like his face looked bad. And it, it doesn't, that's just wrong. I think one of the reasons why people were already kind of negatively disposed towards him was because he was already annoying and very popular and people like to hate popular things. So when he reveals his face and he's obviously like insecure about his face, people are like, oh yeah, like we can dogpile him for this, you know? But they're dogpiling for the wrong reason. They're, you know, they're dogpiling for his appearance when in reality, you know, you can dogpile people for being annoying or creepy or whatever else. But it kind of like poisoned the well. And I think as a consequence of that, he's aware of this, right? So he like a bunch of people made fun of how he looks. So he's like desperately insecure. He's unused to fame. He used to be really fat before all this started, which means he probably didn't get that much attention from anyone, like let alone women, right? So now everyone's made fun of him for how he looks, except for his hardcore, super parasocial, like 14-year-old girl fans. And uh, as, because he was already kind of a creepo, it feels like this kind of just galvanized him into relying on them for, uh, you know, his, his, his confidence and self-assurance. And that's probably just like compounded and compounded and compounded and gotten to him, you know. I don't know. It's weird. Vosh doing lookism. I'm doing the opposite of lookism. Dream heavily encourages his fans to be extra parasocial, and he also refuses to tell his fans to stop drawing him with other YouTubers that are minors. Well, that's probably pretty bad. However, refuses to tell his fans to stop doing something is a very distanced accusation. Where was that one of him with the singing and the crying? That one was so fucking funny, man. The one where he, the one where he sits down and he like hangs his head 15 times. Is it this one? Alright guys, I want you guys to get your f you guys to sing along with me, right? Oh yeah. He hung his head like 50 times during the thing. I don't know, man. Please get back to Tumblr right now. Yeah. Least watchable segment. Holy shit. I don't know what I'm doing here either for what it's worth. I'm here with you guys, okay? Listen, it's 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 the it's Higgle's master-slave dynamic, okay? You may be slaves to the content 